Hey friends. So what do we do after having a nice warm cup of java? We want to make sure to clean the coffee maker. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that we don't miss any new uploads that are coming your way. Today, after finishing my cup of java, I figured I might as well go ahead and show you guys how to clean the coffee maker. Now, this is my favorite coffee maker. It's a Black & Decker. This is the one that the girls and Dexter got for me for Mother's Day. And the way that I clean it, I don't know if it is the exact correct way to clean it, but this is the way that I clean it so that way it's nice and sanitized. So, of course, finish your cup of java. You wanna make sure, go ahead and put the cup into the dishwasher. All right, next. And make sure to take out the coffee pot. And then I wanna fill this with equal parts of vinegar and water. Just fill it on up. And you can take regular generic white vinegar. It doesn't have to be anything special with it. You just wanna make sure that it's equal parts vinegar and water. So that way you make sure you get all the yucky grime and everything like that out of there, okay? Now, if you take a look, I don't know if you can see all the way in there or not but there is some grime and yuck and things like that. But I clean it every week, um, at least once a week. So you pour it on in. So, there we go. And it does have a strong smell to it, so that's another reason why I make sure to put everything into the dishwasher once I'm completely done cleaning this out, um, running it through, making sure that everything's nice and clean in here. So. As you can see, how it's filled up with the vinegar and the water. So, put the vinegar away. Plug it on. All right, so you just press this button, wait for it to click, and then it starts All right, so once it's done filling and cleaning through for the first cycle, I'm gonna make sure to go ahead, open it up, nice, hot, and steaming, and I'm going to shut off that power button too. And unplug it. All right, so I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but what I do since everything's already been filtered through is that I just take the water with the white vinegar and then I pour it on in again. Now be very careful because it's super, super hot still. So if you're doing this, just be very, very careful. All right. And put it back in like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure everything's all set. And plug it in. And then pick up. There we go. All right, so after the second round, do the same thing as the first where I shut it off. I unplug it. I lift this up. Coming on out. And now I pour this one out. Then this head over there, and then I fill this back up again. Now I'm 
just doing with regular water so that way I run it on through. maker once a week using the equal amount of water and white vinegar will help to be able to get all that grime and all that yucky gunky stuff off so that way you can have a nice fresh cup of java make sure to stay tuned hit that notification bell so that way anytime that I upload some new videos of myself or Dexter or the girls that way you are fully aware also make sure to hit that like button comment down below too as to what else that you would like to see or name your favorite coffee mug i mean my favorite one is my detroit one but i also like my boston one that my friend molly got for me and i also like the pinkie pie one that my friend stephanie got for me and i like the christmas edition one from 2009 that my mom had gotten for me all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me for today. Take care and see you in the next video of what to do after you finish your cup of java. What do you do with the coffee maker? <laughs>